This is Kevin Feige. The average person is probably thinking, who is this guy? And why is he always wearing a hat? Well, he's in charge of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, known for producing some of the best superhero movies of all time. I mean, these movies are so popular that Spider-Man fans have fought over getting tickets, but recently that popularity has kind of died down. So today, I'm going to be attempting to steal Kevin Feige's job by creating a PowerPoint that has five ways that I can fix and save the MCU. And at the end of this video, I'll be presenting the PowerPoint to my friend Ryan, who said that if he liked it, he'd help me deliver it straight to Kevin Feige's boss. But first, I need to make the PowerPoint. Starting with the characters. Now after the death of Iron Man and Captain America's retirement, I think we can all agree that Marvel's kind of lost some of their biggest characters. But there is potential from some of the newer ones, including Spider-Man, Groot, Kate Bishop, Loki, and a really exciting character coming back for the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie, which is, you guessed it, Wolverine. Now these characters have the potential to become really important moving forward in the MCU, but something's missing. I mean, the characters are colorful and they're fun, but they don't appeal to a wide enough audience. So as the future CEO of Marvel Studios, I propose we just turn them all into Lego people. Now hear me out, the biggest toy company in the world and Marvel Studios combined, ticket prices are gonna go bananas, I promise you. The second thing I would do is solve the multiverse problem. Because right now the multiverse just feels like it's being used for silly cameos and random jokes from past Marvel movies. You're Ralph Boner? Boner. <laughs> so instead of doing that, I say we just add random characters and random silly jokes from non-Marvel movies. The best chemist in the world, Walter Ryan. Hey, the guy over there. Who are you talking to right now? Something completely different from what Kevin Feige is doing and totally unique. I mean, just imagine Jurassic World in the MCU. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Avenger eating dinosaurs? But if you're still not convinced, I do have a visual aid. Check out this slide I made of Spongebob entering the MCU from a Doctor Strange portal and the entire cast of The Office getting ready to fight the Hulk. I feel like the next problem we need to address is the costume design. Now, a lot of the costumes in Marvel are actually really great, but I feel like the problem is whenever you have three costumes in just one movie. So I say we just give me the position of Marvel costume designer, and I'm only gonna have our characters have one costume per movie. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, well, you can't make as many toys. Well, we already solved that problem whenever we turned everybody into Lego people. The fourth problem we need to fix is we need a new bad guy. And not somebody like Kang the Conqueror, or Thanos, or Loki, all those people we've seen before. We need somebody new and unique. So I'm saying we name this guy Mr. Bad Guy Evil Guy. I decided to draw him and he kind of ended up looking like Kung Fu Panda, but I feel like that's appropriate given that we haven't had an animal bad guy yet. I do feel like we should give him his own origin movie though and make him seem like he's the hero at first and then at the very end, he turns into the villain. If you think about it, it's a genius idea. I mean, it's never been done before, specifically in a Marvel movie, and I feel like that'll cement this bad guy as the biggest bad guy of all of the bad guys. Anyways, I finished up the last slide and then made my way to Ryan's house, and I was feeling pretty good and prepared. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you ready to see the, the presentation? Yes. <laughs> People would be more interested if they were little Lego men. Here's an example. <laughs> Ryan also seemed to be interested in the presentation, which was good, because I still needed him to help me deliver this to Kevin Feige's boss. Step two, the multiverse. Multiverse stories are not good currently. They're kind of bad, there's too many of them, and they're just showing random characters and silly little jokes that nobody cares about. Um, in, this, in this scene right here, yep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But then they all explode and die because the office couldn't stand a chance against the Hulk. Step number five, the last step, we need a new Avengers team. So I used a random Avengers number generator and all of them were Ant-Man for some reason. <laughs> so we have a team full of six Ant-Men on this Avengers team. In conclusion, I can save the MCU only if you give me Kevin Feige's job. So the presentation went well, and me and Ryan had a dance party. I have no idea who Kevin Feige's boss is, by the way. What? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a little tiny announcement to make. I have not failed the YouTube challenge with my friend Ryan, where we're legally obligated to upload a YouTube video every single week. There's proof on the screen right now. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.